Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 465. I'm your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got a lot of news for you this week, so let's get right on to it. So, first up, new 2D vectors of the Generation 5 My Little Pony characters appear. Way back before we had any information on G5, a big sheet of random online store had three mysterious ponies on it. We learned that these were Easy, Pip, and Sunny. But since then, we have only had 3D renditions of them from the upcoming Netflix movie. Apparently, someone over at Etsy got a hold of more of these vectors because they have a listing up for the sticker sheet you see above. Hmm. <clears throat> it gives us brand new pose for Easy and Pip along with our first look at 2D versions of Zip and Hitch plus all of their butt symbols giggly. We are still waiting for the trailer but until then go absorb this one I guess. So let's go absorb it. And I, I do remember this, I do remember this. Um, if you remember way back when in the um, podcast, uh, I did a report on uh, a seller selling base sheets, but it seems to be taken down and I had to do a lot of internet history things. So with this one, um, it's pretty interesting. We, we, like uh, Seth said, we, we get to see more poses, more stuff, and 2D renditions of the other two characters. So, what can I say about this? This is it's really interesting. Uh, it's The style is not similar to G4 at all, and... Okay, that's a lie. I do see some similarities in G4 styling and whatnot, but... Um, the two new Pegasi, those are different in terms of what they have. Their feathers on their wings are completely different. I'm guessing there's a story behind that. And their hoovesies, their... Uh, I'm guessing this is happening for everyone. Like, uh, their hooves have more fluff, so that's kind of cool. And other than that, um, I can't say anything much. It's one of those things where I can't wait to see what's happening next. And we do see the, what you would call this, um, unity symbol for the three creatures or the three pony tribes. Uh, horseshoe for the earth pony, horn for the unicorns, and wing for the pegasi. Uh, be together. So that's their um, <clears throat> uh, statement. Okay, believe uh, Sunny Stars, Star Scout. Okay, that's Sunny's name. Good night and so on. Like this, if I remember, was a bit shit. And this is now a sticker, so that's very interesting. So other than that, um, can't say much. It's very interesting. The only reason why I put it onto the news is because it's a two D rendition of the characters. That well, uh, it's kind of interesting. I, I just can't wait to see what we're going to get next. Are we going? Are we going to get um, comic books that? have this kind of styling. I mean, this is not the, what, uh, Andy Price comic book thing. Like, no, no, uh, it's, this is the cheaper one where you get at the store. I mean, you've seen those kind of things. So anyway, let's hop on to the next news. And well, this is more toys and whatnot. <clears throat> so, more new G5 images reveal a sneak peek of a town. Uh, looks like we're getting another to a tease today as some more pictures have been discovered floating around the internet. It looks like this one haven't been seen before, but the most exciting part seems to be one picture containing a little bit of what looks like a town location in the movie. It has the same 3D looks as our ponies, but I guess it could be just a mock-up. What do you think? At the same time, uh, check it all out after the break. Big thanks to Ahmed and Shooting Tornado for giving us the head up. Alright, 
All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so these are the two uh, figures, eh? All right. Oh, wait. Why, why, why didn't... Did I click on the wrong thing? No, no. This one? No. Huh. Maybe they changed it. Oh, no, no. Huh. All right, then. I, I guess I have to work with what I have. So, okay. Um, background looks painted. So, nothing much to say. Oh, man. Th this one seems to be the one that's very interesting. Um, town seems to be very modern, like it's not how Cantalot is or Ponyville is, or even, uh, mm, I, I would say it's closer to what Manhattan would look like, but I, I got no idea where this is taking inspiration from, um, judging from the bridge architecture and whatnot, it could be San Fran. But, mm, it's too soon to tell. But, this is okay. I would say it's the best, but it's okay. And what I mean by that is that the backgrounds itself are nice looking. They're, they're pretty okay. They're, 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 they look good. The ponies themselves, well, they're just re reusing assets of what... <laughs> They're reusing assets that they have, so I don't mind that because, well, this is not for quote unquote us. This is more targeted for the younger audience. So anyway, um, backgrounds just, just backgrounds. I I can't really tell much. Uh, the painted background here is really cool, but I'm just guessing this is concept art. So yeah, that's about it, and uh, I can't say much. Yeah, I, I can't say much about this. It's too soon to tell. We don't have a trailer yet. So, I guess we just have to wait and see. Let's move on to the next news. So, more G5 My Little Pony plush appears. Yay! <coughs> uh, this thing... Uh, uh, sorry. Things are starting to pick up with G5 lately. Hopefully, this means we'll be getting some more information from Hasbro soon over on the Spanish Spanish plush company play by place website we have what we look uh, we have what looks like different plush than the ones we saw from Taobao a month ago got to say I really uh, I'm, I'm really liking those looking for this one though it seems like hitch unfortunately left out of the batch get uh, the picture of the girls after the break uh -huh. <clears throat> so hmm more th this um, what th this are spanish made plush from the spanish company so oh, oh. <clears throat> okay so let's dissect what we see here and just well um just point out what we can tell um, obviously the main are one of those uh, strand hair mains uh, similar to Bill Bear or any of the previous plush dolls so yay uh, the hoofsies they're kind of made from a really shiny material because uh, that seems to be the MO with this because well, um, uh, most of the ponies have um, hair and their, their hooves can be seen and so on. So that's one thing that's uh, interesting to point out. Other than that, um, nothing much. Yeah, nothing much, nothing different, no difference. So here you mark of Sauron. I guess the uh, patterns are a modified version of horses or ponies. So we'll have to wait and see how things go. But it's interesting to see Sunny here. She has what looks like to be pins of the main six. Um, what I see here is Twilight, Fluttershy, and Rainbow Dash. So what does this mean? I got no idea. I am just fascinated. That popped up. like That seriously popped up for me. And I'm just like, 
wait what there is some information i i know um i have i read it so we'll just have to wait on the full um show um one thing that i am not uh liking is the lack of hitch like he's the only male pony counterpart and so on but <clears throat> It's, it's a marketing decision that I understand, but I do not like. They want to appeal to the girls who are buying, quote-unquote, buying this because it's their, quote-unquote, target audience. But it's one of those things where, personally for me, if I were to buy this, I would prefer that if I had a set of the main fives. So... If you introduced me to five of them and only give me four toys, I'm going to be pissed off because what happened to Hitch? I want Hitch, like, give me the full set. But uh, it seems like they're not giving it to us, so I, I guess I can say much. <clears throat> so anyway, let's move on to other toy news. New line of hidden this... Uh, this... Uh, what, 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 uh this thinkable series from from what from who seth uh okay anywho uh mighty jacks appears apparently saw a good amount of success with their initial offering of the hidden this thing this thing this, this <laughs> i cannot say that word uh this since oh man uh okay this product yay <laughs> series after the main six and celestia last year they have more on the way uh, this new set includes Shirley, the cutie mark crusaders spike granny smith uh big macintosh derby hooves trixie and unicorn twilight sparkle oh that's fascinating yep she's a unicorn again that is definitely a unique set of characters overall uh, they are up for pre-order on big, big bad toys right now and uh, sorry, right now with a uh, July of 2021 release date. Get image below. All right, so uh, <laughs> these are not my favorite line of products, but they look good. They're uh, what you call this? They're uh, their molded figures are so accurate. Uh, <laughs> But it's just that I don't I don't like the <laughs> uh scaly part. Like that that's not like yeah, no no me no me gusta. <laughs> so yeah, they, they look good, but it's just not for me. Uh, I, I I can't say much. Oh, <clears throat> okay, um let's go for the selection of characters here. Um initially they start off with the I main six plus Celestia, so that is a good choice that is safe. And then, after getting a good reception, they can push it a bit more. So, obviously, you want to go for your favorites. Uh, Big Macintosh, Derpy Hoof, Trixie. So, those, those are quote-unquote safe characters because they have a fan following. Now, where it gets a bit risky here is Shirley, Granny Smith, and the cmc's because not many people are fans of those characters or uh think highly of them or let's just say that they're in the top 20 but not in the top 10 but Shirley has a following i i do know that Shirley has a following not sure about granny smith the cmc's with Shirley too yes and well i didn't mention twilight uh, unicorn twilight but that's a quote-unquote safe bet. People are going to enjoy her and whatnot. Yes. So uh, another one that they did that list is uh, Rainbow Dash Rainbow. Uh, this variant of the... Uh, let's just... Oh, no. Sorry. My bad. That's not Rainbow. That's the... No, that's Rainbow. Yeah. Uh, They didn't mention this, but this could be one of those things where it's one in a box kind of deal where ooh it's mysterious ah uh it's it's interesting that um the cmc's and spike are a pair 
So I'm guessing if you get one box of them, you get uh, a pair with uh, Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo and Spike and Apple Bloom. So yeah, that's very interesting. Um, so yeah, uh, pff, can't say much. Let's move on. So Hitch Cutie Mark up close. So it seems like a shield with a horseshoe on it and uh, can't say nothing much because well, this is just going to go into another news. But um, let's just see what Seth wrote. Hasbro dropped this image of. <clears throat> Hasbro dropped this image off for everyone interested in seeing what Hitch has on his butt. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling this guy is going to be the Applejack of their merchandise line with rare showings here and there. I totally agree with you that there, Steph. With how little fanfare the fandom is giving him, he might even see even less. We have to see if he turns out to be an awesome character when the movie airs on Netflix later this year. So, yeah. Can't say much. His cutie mark looks very interesting. It's a shield with a horseshoe on it. Very simple, very clean and safe. But why is that? Oh, I hope this is the right one. Okay, yay, cool. So, I, I guess the reason why is the My Little Pony Instagram page confirms that Hitch is a sheriff. Yay! So, on their Instagram page, it seems like people were doing art and stuff and painting Hitch. And their page says something like, Look for a new face paint design for your little one. Create Hitch, the new sheriff on the block. So, yay, Sheriff. <clears throat> so, let's see what Seth wrote. If this cutie mark wasn't, sorry, if his cutie mark wasn't enough of a hint, it looks like Hitch is actually a Sheriff, according to a recent post over on the official My Little Pony Instagram. As part of a speed paint of a face painting of him, they drop the quote below. Okay, blah, blah, blah. What do you think? Is this a recipe for success in the pony fandom? Or is a stallion cop something that won't pick up any traction at all? Um, let's see. Do you know? It's interesting to see this. Um... Yeah, um, it's very interesting to see a quote-unquote adult with a job in My Little Pony. I, I, I mean, a job that has a government work kind of thing. Because, well, you see, previously, when we started off with G4, Twilight was mostly Princess Celestia's student. Uh, really didn't do much except for studying and whatnot. I, I wouldn't say even advisor or assistant. She's just studying. Um, Fluttershy was kind of a volunteer worker. Uh, Rainbow Dash was kind of working for the weather factory or the weather crew for the Ponyville division. So probably that's similar, but nothing to the sheriff's level. Applejack was a farmer. Rarity was a fashion designer and Pinkie Pie works at a bakery. So, in terms of scope and importance, uh, probably Rainbow Dash and Hitch here have similar importance. But, uh, what? Hitch probably has more authority because he's a sheriff. But, it's one of those things where I'm very fascinated with how this world's going to work. But let's move on to the last news for the week. <clears throat> Boulder Media drops likely My Little Pony movie name on website. Not too long ago, we dropped what we thought was a possible name for the G5 movie thanks to a post by Netflix Malaysia's Twitter feed. I have not noticed that, but yay, go Malaysia! Now, it seems like we have the most likely candidates for 
a name thanks to Boulder Media's own website. The folks behind the animation of the movie. Yes, of the movie. In a statement they posted on their site, the movie is called My Little Pony, A New Generation. That reminds me of Street Fighter 3, A New Generation. But anyway, um, of course, like with the new, sorry, of, uh, of course, like with the Netflix Malaysia Info, I'm still going to call this tentative title. We got more, uh, uh, till we get more promotional material on the movie. But since this is on the website of Boulder Media itself, there is a good chance this is it. Alrighty then, so let's check out what Boulder Media posted up on their website. And by the way, this is just a clip of their website, if I can get it open. Open. Okay, yeah, you know, I'm just going to read it here. <clears throat> uh, we are thrilled to share with the world our first full CGI computer graphics, uh, computer graphics imagery, whatever it is, Feature film, the most recent adventure into the My Little Pony universe. My Little Pony, a new generation. Uh, <clears throat> ooh, my eyes. Generation set to be released in September 2021. Join our new cast of lovable characters on their fantastical journey across Equestria as you've never seen it before. We are incredibly proud to have produced Ireland's first 3D animation feature film and can't wait for you to meet all your new friends. So, by the way, this is not um, official art. This is just fan art. This there. So, yeah, um, that's just fan art. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, what can I say? It seems that I'm trying to think is this the first 3D imagery or 3D? Yes, I think. I do remember there's a 3D of G3, something like that, but that could be video game form. So, yeah. Um, I can't wait. They're really proud of their work, so that's going to be. That's good to know. But what we need now is to hear the voices, the characters speaking. We, we need to see more movement from them because what we got is just snippets and clippets of them just doing stuff. Like, we need more of that. I mean, a trailer would be great right about now. So that's the news for this week. So my overall thoughts on this week's news is it focused on a lot of G5 things, so that's awesome and the release date is going to be on september so yeah that's really close so i can't wait for that that's going to be really really fun so other than that what can we say um let's just hope that this is going to be awesome and great like <sighs> there there is a lot of questions now when is this happening is this happening in a new world is this fictional and so on i mean Oh, sorry, it's G4 fictional and so on. I mean, like, a lot of things are here and we have a lot of questions. So, yeah. But let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So, uh, going on with my week has been nothing really special. Um, Just been doing the show editing, recording and whatnot. And in terms of weeks, I haven't really been doing much um, with the whole pandemic. There's no really nothing new going on or movies and whatnot. So honestly, just been staying home and playing video games. If you're wondering what I've been playing, um, mostly mobile games. Like, I, I know that sounds cringe and whatnot, but I, I somehow am interested or somehow got pulled in by curiosity and the game i'm playing is crash on the run it's a endless not really endless runner like it's a runner kind of style of game where you control crash bandicoot and 
you smash boxes, collect fruits, and defeat enemies. And it's a item management game where you collect items to create stuff. And it's it's really I would say addictive, but it's really fun kind of game where you don't really want to think too much. You don't really want to spend too much time, but you just want to spend a few minutes in terms of just doing stuff. And I, I feel like Crash on the Run is that game for me. But yeah, I'm not going to say much because um I still do play some of the older games that I mentioned before, like Disco Elysium or Hades. So those are still there. So um, let's move on to the, well, end because uh, let's not dilly dally and let's get right into it. <coughs> oh no, where's that script? My script. Grip. <laughs> uh, here we go. No, yes. Oh no, that's not it. Oh god, I am. Why, 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 why have you forsaken me? <laughs> okay, here we go. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you you can contact us at emissionjimmer.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show Twitter account is at the show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on polyvalive.com. Links are in the show notes. Uh, also, do subscribe to Review and Discussion Podcasts on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you can catch me, Tara, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and specials. Sometimes we like to do other things than ponies. Uh, those are cartoon comics, animes, and movies, and maybe video games. Who knows? Uh, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Matthew Flag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya. <laughs>